Um, you, you, you said once that you find skating harder than doing stunts, but you're more inclined to do stunts. Um, do you find that with being a stuntman, getting into the industry is hard? And give us a bit of a rundown of what someone who maybe is listening, who wants to be a stuntman, kind of has to do to get their foot in the door within Hollywood. Give us an idea of what that's about. Sure. So I would say, unfortunately, I mean, at this day and age, maybe not as much, but one, move to California, move to LA, because unless you're in people's faces right there training next to them, people are kind of like, you know, who are you? And the the face to face is, is most important. Second, any of the training area, like there, anyone from the best dude to like the brand new guy, you can go to Bob Yerkes, which is like a, this super famous circus guy, older now, but can still somehow backflip on a trampoline super good. And he's got to be into his 80s. Anyway, <laughs> he has this backyard and you can train pretty much anything. He, he's he got all the high fall towers and whatever. If you go there, um, A, you'll get cool people, and nice people to train you. B, it doesn't cost any money if you are broke. And then C, oftentimes people that train there are already working, already in the industry. And if you're good and you're cool and whatever, they can obviously make intros or get you uh, over to see an agent to go try out. Hey, go try out for this Pepsi commercial, you know, read off the little thing they've got to see if you're any good to do commercials to get in that way. And a lot of it, that's usually what it is, is once you train enough and you have enough of a, you know, a stunt reel, which is the equivalent of a video part to show for yourself, then you can, you know, you go to Bob Yerkes or you go to like, geo which is one of the gyms here or you go to like jam or which jam is great travis wong i i don't know if you guys seen footage from there it's like a purple i think the ground is purple in there but people constantly train at jam if it's not martial arts and fighting they have classes they have uh a tumble track they have this awesome like a air i don't know if you've seen an air track before but it's the equivalent you can do big flips on it basically yeah, anyway like but a, yeah but it's made of air and it somehow bounces it's incredible anyway all, the, all that to say, if you go to any of those training places, you'll meet people that are already training, already really good, and kind of just will get you in touch with the agent so you can go try out for them. And from there, depending on the look and, like, who you are, what you have to offer, you just, just hit the hit the streets and start auditioning for commercials mostly, which will be, you know, people will be like, yeah, you get hit on the head, and then you fall over, and then you, I don't know, then you say Arby's, like, just weird <laughs> stuff. But yeah. that is really how it starts. It's mostly commercial. And then once you get in, if it's a special skill and normally that's what will help you like skateboarding obvious special skill or if you're a gymnast special skill sword fight guy like any sort of um specialty like motorcycle something that you're really good at maybe not professional but better than everybody else car stuff is a big thing if if you have a car like you can slide them and there's places you know like rick siemens where you can literally go and yeah it's a couple grand or or probably probably that actually and then they teach you how to slide cars in place and whatever, and they'll get you a certificate or something so that when stunt coordinators see it, they're like, oh, this dude's been through the program. He clearly knows what he's doing. So there are ways to kind of like, uh, you know, get signed off by people so that when you're obviously looking around for a job, people can go. And also there's hustling, which is the trickiest, most classic and like most maybe degrading. I just want to throw that in there because it's funny where you show up to set you hope the stunt coordinator is outside their trailer or somewhere you can talk to them, but you literally have to finagle your way on to set talking to a security guard or someone to get you on, even though you're not supposed to be there just to like hit them up at lunch or whatever. And the best thing to do is just, unfortunately, you just kind of have to lollygag and just wait for it to be the perfect moment to hand off your headshot and resume. And that's one of the most classic ways. And it's weird because it's both. It's like look down on at the same time. It's unavoidable you know yeah. like you can't not do it if you want to meet people and they're not showing up to the gym or they're like so well established they just don't train at the regular places that normal people train you just gotta it's just like a movie you literally have to sneak on the set and like find their trailer and put your headshot in there or see them on set and like have the good luck for them to like not be having a bad day you know yeah, yeah. so oh, but yeah that's oh go ahead no go ahead no good Finish oh, that. and la very last is live shows. And that's what I, when I got into California, I got in, I went and tried out for a lot. I like flew out from Colorado, tried out, somehow got in on the first try, which is shocking, but, and then had to drive my car out and any sort of live show there, Waterworld has one, Knott's Berry Farm has one. Um, I'm sure Disneyland has just, it, 
stunt shows of any of those kind, that is your lowest rung to get in, meet people that are already in the industry, and then we'll train you there and help you and get you a steady paycheck so you're hopefully not living in your car. <laughs> <laughs> through we're loving doing this stuff you guys um if you want to support us if you want to make sure that we can keep getting you know better quality set better quality lights make the filming better bigger um, bigger batteries for the camera bigger batteries for the camera. <laughs> yes <laughs> you know all that kind of stuff um you can do that by just liking following the page and subscribing to the youtube channel that is what really makes a difference to us